Hey, let's go for a ride in a slightly modified 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. bunch of different ways you can make a second generation Trans Am or Firebird or Camaro or Z28 uh, be a better performer. In this case, we went simple on the suspension using bolt-on components, uh, a little more complex on the engine because this now is running a LS3 conversion. But this 77 really came to life after doing the mods that we did. Now for suspension, we chose to use a, uh, a Global West tubular upper and lower front suspension system, bolt-on stuff with coilover adjustable shocks. Uh, the rear has a it still has a leaf spring, but a much better one, much better sway bars front and back, uh, which all add up to a uh, not only a lowered stance but a much better cornering car with increased casters so that it steers straight going down the road. When it comes to steering, we changed out the original gearbox for a Borgeson uh, power steering box, which has a, a better ratio and a little better feel as far as how the uh, input is with the steering wheel. The brakes we upgraded with Willwood units at all four corners with uh, a CPP hydraulic brake master cylinder and booster combo. And uh, some year one 17 inch wheels, a snowflake design, very cool, still looks kind of original, but uh, a little more proportional with uh, a Nitto uh, NT555 tire. So this thing, just from those bolt-on suspension upgrades, drives a million times better. Of course, all that road holding ability isn't much fun if you don't have more power to use it. So uh, we upgraded the engine and transmission. This is a GM Performance. LS3. Uh, one of the tricks that we did is use uh, as many components as we could to have it packaged tightly in the car. So what that means is the front accessory drive system is now a Holly mid-mount uh, front accessory system. We also use some hooker tubular headers that are cast iron. And these uh, still flow very well, but they tighten that whole header close to the engine block so that everything fits nice and easy in the car. The air intake system is a tube that we fabricated that goes to a filter uh, hidden in the fender for some cold air. Now because we love the shaker hood on these cars, we made a bracket that mounts the shaker to the top of the engine so the scoop still comes through the hood and does what it's supposed to do. In this case, it's not functional. Uh, we've made uh, Trans Am style hood scoops that are functional shakers that duct air through a filter down into an LS engine. But in this case, we kept it a little bit simpler. So the end result is a Trans Am that still has that look, has that shaker hood, uh, handles much better than they ever did, goes a lot faster than they ever did, um, and it gets better fuel economy and the drivability is enhanced thanks to the suspension system and the overdrive transmission. So this is running a, uh, uh, a GM 4L70 uh, overdrive automatic. The whole thing is controlled by a Holley Terminator X fuel injection system, which also controls the transmission. Um, and then we've got uh, a stainless dual exhaust that we made for the car. And it's a lot of fun, man. Of course, we added vintage air to the dashboard so that we can cruise in air-conditioned comfort, and we're monitoring all the systems with a set of Dakota digital gauges that are designed uh, to look almost identical to the original Trans Am gauges, except for the fact they have a, a few additional readouts, and they are a digital stepper motor inside, so the needles are a little more precise. We didn't do very many uh, cosmetic upgrades on the outside of this car. The owner has told us <laughs> that this car was airborne at some point during its life. Uh, we put a new hood bird sticker on the hood, that, uh, that Phoenix fire chicken. The car's got kind of a, an old paint job on it that's faded on the roof and on the top surfaces from the sun. I don't know, maybe someday he'll, uh, he'll repaint the car, but right now he just wants to really drive it. So I think this is a great recipe to make an old Trans Am drive much better. 
Uh, if you've got one of these things laying around that uh, you want to improve the performance on, you can always reach us at v8speedshop.com. So to date, we've done just about every combination you can from original Pontiac 400 and 455 V8s and these things, LS swaps, um, anything you want. Uh, we always try to respect the originality of the cars that have matching numbers. This one didn't, so it was uh, a lot of fun to take some liberties and have some fun with it. 